Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm teaching you my foundation routine, my base routine, featuring strobing, or whatever you want to call this video. It's kind of a weird video. Basically, it's my base, so it's not just foundation routine. It's like my, my foundation, my concealer, powder, highlighters, bronzers, blush, everything that I use to create the canvas that I then put my eyes and lips on, top of. So um, that's pretty much what it is. I'm going to call it a foundation routine, but it's kind of like foundation routine and more. Um, I know a lot of people want, wanted to see an actual demonstration of how to strobe, because I did my last video, which is basically talking about what the hell strobing is, um, and just explaining how it's kind of different to highlighting or contouring as we've done it for the last few years. Um, even though it's not a new technique, it's just got a cool new name and it's just becoming quite popular. So watch that video, I've linked that down below. If you haven't seen it yet, watch that first. But this video will basically feature that technique so you can kind of see it in action because it's something I do pretty much every day anyway. So I'm starting out with a really glowy primer. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique base, which you know is my favourite glowy sort of primer. And I just apply this kind of like a moisturiser using my hands. Next I'm taking a liquid illuminator. I'm using the Australis Highlights Mineral Face Highlighter in Pearl. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this kind of to the high points of my face. Um, straight on top of my primer before foundation, which will give me that really like inner kind of glow. As you can see, it just creates like a really nice sheen to the skin. Now I'm taking my favourite foundation brush at the moment, it's the Furless Pro 4F brush. This is a flat top kind of kabuki brush, but it's very different to the other ones that I own. Um, it's a lot softer and kind of more fluffy, less dense, so it just creates this most beautiful flawless canvas, but it blends so fast. I think that's what I was really impressed by, it just blended really fast, so loving this brush at the moment. And I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW10. Um, obviously, if you want more of the, like if you want to go even more sort of strobey, you could use something a little lighter and more glowy, but I'm going to apply quite strategically placed strobing across my face. And also, I'm going to wear this makeup out tonight um, to a party, so I want it to last all day and all night, hence why I'm using quite a long wearing foundation. I'm going in with my concealer and you guys all know that my favourite is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. This is a super super pale concealer so it's really good for um, people like me who have a really fair skin tone. Take the smallest amount of setting powder just to set your base, but you don't want to apply too much obviously because we're going for more of a glowy, luminous um, finish. So this is just really locked in place. I have a normal to oily skin tone, so it's super, definitely not super oily. Um, and in general, it's kind of normal, but it can oil up a little bit. And it's because I'm wearing this makeup for so long tonight, I definitely don't want it moving. So I'm going to apply a little bit of my Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. I use this every day. It's translucent, or so it doesn't add colour, um, and it's really good at just locking your base in place. For this, I'm going to use the most enormous, beautiful, soft powder brush of life, and it's another furless one. I was just sent these recently, but it's like I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They just sent me the brushes to try, um, and there's a good majority of them that I really, really like. That foundation brush and this powder brush are probably my two favourites out of the whole set. Um, this is like so enormous and so fluffy it's kind of amazing um, feels like oh it just feels amazing putting it on your face but yeah I use like a really small amount just in what's in the top of the lid and then I just kind of blot it on the areas that I know I tend to get a little bit shiny down the sides of the nose and just like straight over the eyes this brush is so large that it kind of covers that whole concealed area. 
And then I'll just swap over to like a smaller brush to add a little bit of powder directly under the eyes because that brush is just so large. It's not the best for under eye powder, obviously, because it's enormous. So, but it's a really good overall face powder brush where you want to just add the lightest kind of coat all over. Now, the misconception with um, strobing is that you can't use bronzer at all um, or you can't contour at all. Like, of course you can contour and you can bronze. Obviously, makeup is makeup. You can do what you like, really. But um, it's not, they're not mutually exclusive of one another. Um, so the idea behind strobing is that it is light, luminous, and generally contouring can look quite heavy and bold. Um, but I would suggest doing a little bit of bronzing at least. You don't have to do contouring as such, but just adding a bit of warmth to the perimeter of your face. Um, that, as well as adding your glowy, um, illuminating products, will brighten up the face and give it some shape. So I'd recommend using a really glowy bronzer for this because um, we're not contouring with it, it can have quite a bit of sort of sheen and shimmer to it. For pale skin, the Radiant Light Powder from the Ambient Lighting Powder palette is amazing. I guess a lot of pale people don't really touch this very often because we're kind of scared it's so dark, um, but I actually use it as a bronzer and I find it works really well for this kind of glowy strobing effect when I don't want to have like a really heavy sculpted look. So I'm just going to use this Furless this doesn't have a number, but it's just like a one of the other fluffy ones. And I'm just going to like swipe the product a little bit. And then just build up the colour around the perimeter of my face. So I'm not really like going into the hollows of my cheek or anything. I'm just kind of adding, buffing in a bit of colour around the perimeter of my face which will help to warm up my complexion it's not going to give me a sculpted look I'm going to add some blush and I love using cream blushes and that obviously to have a little bit more of a dewy effect on the skin and this one that I've um, been seen recently by Maybelline has just like changed my world <laughs> I love this blush so much. It's the Master Glaze blush in the color Coral Sheen. This is like the most beautiful color for my skin tone, but it's also like the formula is amazing. These are so pigmented. Um, I don't use them straight from the bullet because they're that pigmented. So I use a brush and I just dip a little bit on a stippling brush and then just buff it into my cheeks. It's just, oh, I just love the finish. I love the color. I love the way it applies over your base products. You can go over powdered, skin absolutely fine. So now I'm going to go back to this Hourglass palette and I'm going to use the middle shade which is called Incandescent Light just to apply our real like strobe. So I'm going to take my favourite highlighter brush which is the um, Hakuhodo highlighting brush. This is super super soft and just a really nice shape and size for highlighting the face. This highlighter is really beautiful because it's got quite a natural sort of finish to it. Um, it's not, sh it's pearlescent, it's not like shimmery or glittery. So it's really nice as like a base highlighter because I'm actually going to apply two today. This is just my general one to give the all over glow. I'm going to bring it right up above the brow bone. That looks really pretty when the light hits it there. And then right round onto the cheeks. I've done my first sort of layer of powder highlighting and as you can see like it just creates this beautiful sheen to the skin on all the high points of my face, nice and glowy, but I'm going to go a step further. This is completely optional. And if you want to take a very pigmented intense highlighter, I'm using actually an eyeshadow from Mellow Cosmetics in the shade Peach, which is a soft kind of pink, um, even though it's called Peach, it's more like kind of a soft pink. Same brush and just putting like a really tiny amount on. And I'm just going to pop this here. So just a smaller area and just to really intensify the ping. The ping! Just like... 
So I don't put this one everywhere because it is literally so intense. Um, just pretty much on my cheekbone and there. Just to give that a little bit more like a intense shine. But you certainly don't want to put anything too intense down the, the front of your face. Just keep that a little bit more subtle. The next step, again, is also optional. In fact, you could really just pick out any of the techniques from this video. I'm literally showing you all of the possible techniques to achieve the most intense strobe possible. But um, what I love using like a finishing powder, a really glowy finishing powder all over the face, just to kind of blend out the lines a bit better and make it seem a little more natural and glowy from within. So if you have this palette, I mean, this palette's amazing. It's got everything in it that you need. You could use the color Dim Light to achieve this. Personally, for my skin tone, it's a little bit of the wrong tone. It's not so much too dark, like it's a little bit too dark, but it's more that I think it suits um, warm skin tones better, that one. So I don't reach for him as much. I prefer the Hourglass Diffused Light, which even though it's kind of got this yellowy tinge to it, it looks really good on my pale pinky kind of based skin tone. So this is beautiful, um, but the one I'm going to use today, which is very luxurious and I love it, is my Guerlain uh, meteorites in clear and this is because this is the most glowy amazingness health in a little bottle that you can ever get I mean firstly packaging totally adorable I bought this at duty free as well so I got a little bit cheaper comes with like a little sponge to stop the curls falling out and then you can see it looks like candy reminds me of that um, ice cream that comes in like little balls so with these I'm just going back in with my powder brush just literally dabbing it in there quite generously I like to look like a discovery. <laughs> and then you simply want to sweep this across your whole face in circular motions and it will just miraculously change your face. It doesn't do, do too much on camera but in real life it makes a serious difference. You go from looking like you've got makeup applied to your face to just this inner glow. So it's really amazing to blend out all of that cheek work that we did. Oh, this is the softest brush guys, like the, the softest brush I have ever used on my face. Even more than my Hakuhodo, which is saying something, because that brush is beautiful. If you want to up the kind of dewy, wet skin look, then I would suggest finishing off with like a moisture spray. Something you can use like just water in a can, like a Vene or Avian kind of spray waters. Or you could use like Max Fix Plus, which has a little bit of glycerin in it as well, which helps to moisturize. Um, I'd recommend using this over something like a setting spray. Um, I'm going to actually use this later on in the day just to ensure um, that it actually lasts the night for me. But for now, since I'm just wanting to achieve the glow, I'll just use a bit of a moisturizing spray. So I'm going to use my Max Fix Plus. We'll just take away all that powderiness that we put on. So this is the final look here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and learned something new. Don't forget to rate this video. It really helps me out. And leave a comment if you'd like as well because I love replying to your comments. Uh, it's always nice to have some feedback from my videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to my channel. I always welcome new subscribers with open arms. And until next week, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you then. Bye!